Hey there friends, thanks for checking in and welcome to another video on my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. The handgun that I'm featuring today is my Sig Sauer P220 in 45 ACP. I've owned this gun a long time. It was produced in 2010. This is the carry model. They don't make the carry model anymore. They make the full size models with the 4.4 inch barrel. This has the 3.9 inch barrel. It does have the same anodized aluminum frame, sig light night sights, a rail, and an eight round single stack magazine and 45 ACP. Absolutely love this gun. I think I've owned it since 2012 and really have enjoyed it ever since. Let's see how it fires. Yeah, just as I remember, what a great gun this is. And I am told that the P220 model was the first gun that started Sig Sauer. That the 220 models have been around forever and they've evolved into something like this and the full size models, they are super cool handguns. Now let's get to that shotgun. The shotgun that I'm featuring today is a Remington 11 87 semi-auto 12 gauge that holds four shells of two and three quarter inch in the tube one in the chamber for five rounds total 26 inch vet rib barrel comes with three chokes in here right now is the all-purpose modified choke does have a bead and a bead to a line most commonly known for waterfowl definitely a hunting shotgun very nice, Remington makes some great shotguns and this one is no different. Let's check it out. There it is. Nice butt pad here. Kind of need that on the semi-auto. Very nice shooting shotgun. Now let's get to that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring today is a Ruger PC9 carbine with the new anodized aluminum handguard with M-Lock slots on the top, the side, and the bottom of this handguard. It does have a 16 inch fluted barrel that is threaded with one half inch by 28 threads. The lower is essentially the same, very functional. It does have spacers on the back of the stock that allows you to custom fit that to your shooting style. And it has, or comes with a 17 round Security 9 magazine also an insert that allow the shooter to use Glock mags. Very nice setup, real space on top if you want to add a dot or an optic and a rear and front sight available comes standard. Let's see how it shoots. I'm having trouble picking up the, I need to paint these targets orange. And there we go. Enjoys a phenomenal reputation and this handguard looks cool but very functional as well. Thanks for watching another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.